member from Burnaby Lougheed. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Four years ago this time, a respected politician said to me, listen, kiddo, you pull your socks up and get in there because you can do this. I believe you 100%. And that's just it, Madam Speaker. When going gets tough, often it's the confidence from that somebody that can make a world of difference. These are the heroes in our lives, those who engage, educate, and empower us. This Legislative Assembly has seen many such heroes in its 146 years, those who lift others as they climb, rallying communities for causes bigger than them, and in the process, changing our world. And so today, I would like to pay tribute to such one among us, that politician who has been a hero in my life, the Honorable Member for Surrey Green Timbers, who is bidding her farewell also to this house after 22 years of incredible service to the people of British Columbia. First elected in 1991, then re-elected in 1996, 2005, 2009, and 2013, she advocated relentlessly for a kind and just society as our Minister of Women's Equality, Cooperatives, Housing, Recreation, and Consumer Services, and of course, most recently, as our opposition spokesperson for mental, mental health and addictions. As the Executive Director of the Surrey Aboriginal Cultural Center, she assisted our indigenous community, and in founding the Minerva Foundation for Women, she helped change the face of leadership in BC. A true tra trailblazer for women and visible minorities in, in and out of politics, she made it her life mission to give voice to those underrepresented. And so goes the song. Our daughters' daughters will adore us, and they'll sing in grateful chorus. Well done, sister suffragettes. So we adore you, Sue Hamill, and today we sing you our grateful chorus. Well done, my sister, British Columbia, thanks and celebrates you.